it's me Ray from raytalks.co.uk and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you some modest must-haves. Some modest must-have basics. If you want to find out more then make sure you stay tuned. The first item I have is a black midi. The black midi is a must-have when you just want to throw something on and look presentable without making much effort. If you want a styling video, then please let me know. The next item is a basic black skirt, like so. I love to dress this up or down. So with this skirt, I can wear a nice shirt or just wear a jumper. Um, it's great, it's, it's versatile, and for me, it is a must have. In the description below, I'm going to be linking similar items to the ones I've shown here, because some of these items are fairly old one is even more inside house and one inside out us. The next item I have is my LBD, my long black, oh. oh, wow, yeah, there it uh -huh. The next item I have is my LBD, my long black dress. This is great for occasions. It's something you can just wear that is a classic piece, puts everything together and looks effortless. What I do with this, I tend to dress it up. So I might wear a headscarf with this dress. If I wanted to, I might wear a colored blazer. It's a great basic um, that you can style different ways using different colors and different textures. The next must have is a denim skirt. I, I remember I was on Twitter and then somebody must have wrote something like, oh, how do I style a denim skirt without looking like a Seventh-day Adventist, which I thought I'm quite, what? But I get it because I feel like denim skirts are almost like a Seventh-day Adventist <laughs> uniform. Um, yeah, I love denim skirts. I don't wear my denim skirts as much as I would like to. They are on the casual side for me. I do like to dress it up. Um, here and there or try to make more of an effort. It's a great staple piece. It's effortless You just put this on and you can put something that's quite dressy on top with it or at the bottom in terms of your shoes The next item is a white shirt Everybody needs a white classic shirt. It just pulls you in again. It's effortless It can be styled in different ways it would have been good if I actually ironed this shirt. My friend is probably creasing at this clip right now because she loves a good old iron. <laughs> good to, she likes to iron stuff. But you get the point of what I'm trying to show here. A classic white shirt, like so. Make sure you iron it or just buy iron less. I feel like this one was actually... You know those shirts you can buy that doesn't require you to iron? The next must-haves are vest tops. You can wear it under any item as a layering piece to keep you warm or if a, cut, if a top is quite low cut you can just wear a vest top and what this does is it hides that you know the precious hairier and uh, it's they're great. I also like to wear these alone and then just layer it with a kimono or something like that when I'm on holiday. Hello! But I like to get uh, vest tops whereby the top is quite high. I don't like the low cut ones because I don't really like to show my little lemons. Okay. My sister's looking at me weird. Hello. The next must-haves are block coloured t-shirts. So I have a few colours here. I've got mustard, I've got uh, a red colour and I've got black. The black is a must. I've said must so many times. In the comments below let me know how many times do you think I've said must throughout this video so far, lol. So I like these because you can just wear them and you can wear another piece on top or you can wear them alone and something quite casual at the bottom. You can wear a black skirt, that the black skirts I've shown, you can wear a denim skirt with it, you can wear a dressy shirt. These are just easy ways to make yourself, to make yourself look put together without little effort. And these are great layering pieces, layering pieces in terms of it can add a layer to keep you warm, but you can add this and make and create different outfits. So what I would do, here's a, a, a good idea. You could wear this t-shirt and then wear a white shirt over it and then leave the shirt open. Or you can wear um, 
a white shirt and then put one of the colored t-shirts on top of it some people like to do this with short sleeves these are all short sleeves by the way that i showcased here and some people like to do it with long sleeves so in the comments below let me know how you like to style your block colored t-shirts the next must have are long sleeved t-shirts Again, this is another layering piece. This could create a new outfit if layered correctly and it keeps you warm. And I think it makes you look very streamlined. Sometimes when I just wear this on its own with quite a loud, not a loud skirt, a more, um, a skirt with a lot of color, it kind of breaks down the color a little bit. Um, I quite like, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but let's go this one. The next must have is a denim shirt. So here's the one I have here. My, I didn't prepare this properly. <laughs> A denim shirt is again another casual piece of clothing that doesn't require you to even make an effort. When I wear this, I wear this with my a pleather pleated skirt that I have. I think it's quite edgy, I think it's more uh, quite chic. I am really into urban modern fashion. I, I only came across this phrase when I was on Pinterest. There's a certain look I like and I will put it here. I like the pleats, you will know that from this video, check in the eye. I love um, denim on top, I like shirts, things like that. So I like to be dressy but a bit casual. Um, but more on the dressy side and I think the dressy side of my outfit tends to be with my skirts I love well structured skirts and I like to just tone it down with a you know a casual shirt so like I said I'll put examples um, here 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 so yeah let me know in the comments below how do you like to dress I've asked you so many questions <laughs> the last but not the least modest must have when it comes to basics are these a turtleneck i like turtlenecks i think they make you look very elegant very chic if laid with other pieces they scream hello i'm a tad bougie hello i'm covered up hello i may have money in my bank account i love a turtleneck i think those days where you don't really want to make any effort you don't know what you don't know what to wear if you just wear a turtleneck in the winter because you know this summer <laughs> summer I don't know if I can be wearing these things shout out to my modest sisters that wear this in the summer so you can just wear a turtleneck and just wear anything underneath um, at the bottom and it just looks so put together so I could wear this I like to wear this with a pink dress that I have as you know you may know if you don't know I have a blog www.raytalks.co.uk and make sure you click the modesty tab because on the modesty tab I outline what modesty is and talk about um, different things relating to modesty. I also showcase outfit of the days and uh, for one of my outfits of the days I'm sure I reference layering. If it's, not an, if it's not on my blog post it might be a video that you've already seen where I discuss this but if you've not seen it hello welcome to my channel and yep I love layering. I love finding ways to dress up one item so when it comes to my dresses I wear them as both skirts um, and dresses and even t-shirts and maybe I'll put an example on my blog so check it out yeah so I love these um, I got these from America shout out to my auntie thank you auntie she got me these from a shop called pretty girl in New Jersey we out here um, yeah I really like these so thank you so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe you might have noticed that I didn't have a lot of colors because I was just focusing on basics and must-haves if you actually see my wardrobe you'll see that it's fairly colorful and if you know me in real life you know I love a color I don't feel any way to bust out a yellow bust out a little orange a nice pale blue some pinstripe I'm really trying to get out of the habit of wearing black all the time because I feel like colors make you look happy make you feel happy and make you feel a bit more put together that's how I feel anyway when I wear color another thing is like I'm sweet like chocolate so I need to just have some color to just make me look you know just to pop and I just think it it's just great on um, your skin there are some there are some things that didn't make it to the video one because I forgot to note them down 
and uh, yeah so if there's anything you think I missed out in the comments please let me know what are some of your modest basic must-haves like I said don't forget to subscribe share this video with at least one friend have a good day stay blessed Ray